One more for the practice. I know a lot of the team has played already. We're not doing our best in this one, as I would like for us to. But it is what it is. Uh, I'm not sure what could cause for that. Maybe there's a lot of savages out there, but everyone is deranking like crazy too. So I don't know. I don't know what's going on out there. I know I have three cards that are under leveled myself. Uh, Mephesto at one, Hanky at three, and uh, Stan at four. Alright, so what do we do here? We do Marcus in the middle, Knight on the side, Hanky in the front. Oops, the village didn't activate. Mm, that Hank, that uh, that Ike's getting too strong. All right, we got it. Let me just waddle along. Oof. There's no point in even trying to take out Incan. Before his war cry gets off, it's way too fast. Oh. I could see that as being an uh, okay trade. Even though the energy cost is different, but um, Captain Wendy is a liability. If you let her get built up too much. I'll do the same as well. Alright, so we just hold off on this one and we're going to do the same thing again. We're going to go with the Marcus, Ike, and Hanky. It gives the opponent too much to think about in regards to which one do they want to attack. And then while we, while all that's going on right there in the middle, Ike's doing, just doing the work on the side. And Ike already did enough damage to where now I can do a fireball or a lightning bolt. Or an Incan. And we all see the lightning bolt coming. I'm going to wait for the fireball to take out that Terrence. And I'm just going to do lightning. Alright, good game. And that's how you do a chip deck, I guess, or any just normal play.